get this equipment started and then we'll go. We're going to do Pledge of Allegiance first. We're going to do Pledge first? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Bob. Everybody uncover? That one's not. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Lord, we want to thank you for bringing us all together today. Keep us all safe getting here, and keep us all safe going home. And just make this a very successful meeting so that everybody can get the, the, uh, uh, the words not coming. Anyway, we thank you, Lord, and we just wish everybody a pleasant day. And just be with us, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Bless us, Lord, everyone. <laughs> One, two. One, two, three. <laughs> Craig Onorov down there videos. Um, our meetings, and then Diva puts them all together and we distribute them. We do all kinds of stuff. Right. All right, are you turned on down the I thought so. Are you sure. Do I take that for you? Here, I got it. Projecting He's got a low layer Yep. Okay. And you can take this one. Yeah. Okay, you're all set. I don't need this one, but this, do I? No. But just leave it on. Just leave it on, and then when you go to someone hand. All right, we want to thank Eva for making all the arrangements today. And, and uh, we appreciate everybody's participation at the 50 50. Um, she'll, she'll tell you how we did with that later on. Well, you don't think they can hear me without it? I think they can, but I turned it that way. So the can. Okay. Here, let me put this one down. And, and, and uh, let's see if this works. <laughs> Why did he? Oh, two microphones? He's got a clip on too. Oh. Wants to be heard out here. Wants All right, to um, here. Santa Jim Long. Raise your hand.
Whoop, my meter just went up. Woohoo! Okay, I would entertain a motion to accept the minutes as distributed unless somebody has uh, errors or corrections. I move to accept the uh, minutes as they are. So move second. All right. I've been moved and seconded to accept the minutes as distributed. <laughs> Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 On, the, on the back side oh. of the agenda is the treasurer's report. It's kind of bright. Hey, double-sided printing. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Um, we added we added thirty-five dollars to our Christmas fund at the last meeting from the 50-50 raffle, and uh, we took money from our bank account to put to toys for tots. That uh, Diva bought fifty dollars worth of toys at the Angels game, so we reimbursed her for that. And then the rest of it is self-explanatory. We, um, we have, going into this meeting today, we have $830 towards our Christmas charity. Sunshine Report. We would like to donate four dollars and fifty-six cents to the Orange County Fund just to see that line read one, two, three, four, five, six. Because <laughs> we're cool like that. Yeah. He's coming. Okay. So, um, well, first I would like to say thank you, Mr. President, for surviving and being yeah. here. right now from his surgery and stuff, so we know how quiet he is anyway. Everybody might not know he had bypass surgery. Oh, well, he had bypass surgery. There you go. I thought you all knew this. He's posted on Facebook, and he's alive, and we're very happy about that. So, thank you for being here. Happy birthday to Cliff Breed, and his birthday was yesterday. Thank you. 30 years old. Do we have any other birthdays in the house today? Any anniversary? Oh, Jim Long's going to be on Monday. Luann, when's your birthday, honey? Friday. All right. Like yesterday, Friday, next Friday. Happy birthday, Bertie. 29. Oh, Santa Tim. The 28th. The 28th. So we, it's okay. He's in that other sign. It's okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not even in those signs. I'm in March. Wait. Yes. Anniversary. Anniversaries was my next one. July 11th for the Breedens. Who else do we have? Any other anniversaries in the house? Maggie Nitz, is it your three-month anniversary with us? Four, five, I don't know. I had a special guest coming out too, sorry. He's coming, yeah. So you guys are gonna help us because one of their cooks, it's his birthday. So we're trying to do our happy birthday song and include him, because they asked, and because he's cool like that. Who like that? Who like that? What's his name? What's his name? Uh, Greg, what's his name? Uh, Carmelo. Carmelo. I like Carmel. How about you? Yeah, he's coming right now. Where is he? Sorry, I didn't mean to delay things. Do you want me to... Uh... Okay, so we have the raffle afterwards. We made a really good raffle today. Thank you all. Wanted to say that to him. And... I'm just delaying too much. Shall I go into the, the activities? Then we'll do sure, the birthday thing. Sure. Okay. So um, that was pretty much my spiel for sunshine. So I'll sit down. Oop, back up for the director for the activities. <laughs> so it's my exercise program each month. <laughs> Only do it twice. Oh yeah, this thing too. Oh, like he can't hear me on there. I know what I said anyway. No, you got a bunch of tickets. So oh, yeah. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Uh, Alright, so activities, oh yeah, this is this is kind of cool, I only get one mic usually, this is cool. Um, so activities, next month we're going to be at Mimi's down in Lake Forest, it's a picture of it on your thing so you can't miss what it looks like when you get there. Is it going to be that blurry? No. Okay. <laughs> Note, on that time it is 10 a.m., they have people coming into that room at 1 o'clock. 
sorry. He got a little slammed in the kitchen right now. Are we okay? Can we flash mob the grill? Yeah, can we flash mob in there? I'm just yeah, kidding. Yeah, no, you guys, and that will really thrill everyone in this restaurant. Like, oh God. You only <laughs> fit like three of them in there, please. <laughs> Did that come out? <laughs> oh. If you guys want to, if you guys. <laughs> is this him? All right. No, oh, this is not him. Can, can you take a message for us? Yes. Does he sing? Does he sing? I'm happy birthday. Okay. 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 So, okay. So we'll hold off on that for a minute or yeah. six. Let me, let me get him to a point where he can You're hard. Right. Thank you, baby. Okay, so um, note the time for next month is 10 a.m. They need that room by 1 o'clock, so we have to be out, and I figured that would give us enough time to do that. Brunch. Okay. Um, yeah, it's basically a brunch. What? Yeah, Kathy wants to talk about the holiday. Okay, but, and then September we have the Yacht Club, Dana West Yacht Club. Um, is that one on the 12th? He said the 12th. I thought it was the 19th. I'm going to have to deal with know. Ed Howie on that. Anyway, there you go. Okay, so who's next? Okay. Kathy, <laughs> Kathy can, uh, can talk about... Kathy, Kathy's putting together the Quakes game at, at Rancho Cucamonga. That's just fun to say, ain't it? <laughs> okay. Hold it close. So, okay, so the, the game is Friday the 29th of July, and um, it's going to be at 7 o'clock in the evening. <clears throat> and what they want to do is have the Santas gather together at the perimeter of the stadium, and Peter's ukulele group is going to be playing Christmas songs. So it's going to be very cool. Yeah. And the tickets are $11 each, and that includes a special commemorative Santa hat. <laughs> And I have until next Wednesday to pick up the tickets. The tickets, as I said, are $11 each. I can collect the cash today. And if you're not prepared, Santa Bob can accept checks made payable to the chapter, and then he can, in turn, write me one check to the Quakes. So we have it all figured out. And um, if you don't think you can, if you don't know right now if you can make it, please do call me, and uh, let's see what we can do for you. Um, okay, is there anything else I can talk about? Or you want me to When's wait? Your next meeting? Our next meeting is August the 13th at Caro's in Rancho Cucamonga. Santa Robert uh, Suter, Santa True, is going to come and lead us in a special round, round robin type event where we're going to be sharing information that's going to be pertinent to us for this coming holiday season. So we do have a lot of really good things coming up. Thank you. Very good. One more thing. Did everybody enjoy this place today? Yes. Good food? Good service. Okay, thank you. You would come back. Yes. Robert, you're our hero. Okay. We have with us our uh, Forbes official travel agent, Shar Martin, who is who is putting together uh, the 2017 reunion cruise. And we've had, um, I have information on the cruise for anybody who does not have it, but my information is old information. Uh, we've sold out all those, all the tickets that have the pricing I have on my information, yeah. and they've gone up. Uh, five dollars on gratuity and another five dollars a person or so and they will probably continue to go up uh, so the sooner you make a reservation by probably the best deal that you would have um Shara, come on up and tell us what you got yeah. give her that microphone yeah. great to see all you guys again and ladies uh, we just we had 50 when i got here now we have 51 the england's just uh, book their cruise. So we have 51 cabins, which means it's not 100 because some there's double and triple in, in the rooms or triple and quads. So it's more than 100. And um, the new pricing, like 
we sold out of uh, all our allotments that we got. But what I, when somebody wants a book, I call them and they will birth uh, a room into the, into our group. So we'll be in the group. Uh, the the four B, which was the inside, is the same the same price, which was five sixty and eighteen for two. That's total, not including uh, gratuities. I'm sorry. And then the uh, the six Bs are totally sold out. We have new window uh, rooms, which went up ten dollars a person, and they're now six sixty and eighteen cents for two, two total everything except gratuities. And um, they've changed it now. There's no longer a non-refundable deposit. But if when you book your cruise and you pay it in full, you get a fifty dollar onboard credit. This is a new a new uh, promotion they have. So, and then the junior suites, we have us, we have to birth those as we go, as we book them too. So, I'm not sure if I need to say anything else about no. anything else. No, I don't know. But I would suggest if you're planning on going, get your deposits in soon. That way, it's not going to keep going up. Okay? Thank you. Here, here. And, of course, we never know when maybe they're going to get sold out. Um, you know, it may be you decide that you're having a really good Santa season next December and you want to go and there's no rooms available. We don't know. Um, we, uh, for anybody who hadn't heard previously, we're going to do several seminars and um, nobody has been in charge of putting together the seminars yet. If somebody wants to volunteer for getting seminar uh, presenters, why like we always could use volunteers. But on the last day at sea, why we have reserved the dining room for lunchtime. And we will have the Santa reunion annual luncheon with a last sleigh ride and maybe a, a Santa Cruz wear fashion show. I, I don't know what we're going to do for a fashion show. But um, this is this is our annual luncheon, and we're going to make it the best that we can make it. Here, here. Here, here. All right. Now, has anybody got any old business? Just Diva. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't leave witnesses. All right. Has, has anybody got any new business? Ted Tardy, front center. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, I don't know how long it's been, but it's been a while. That we uh, was watching 60 Minutes on TV. <laughs> I'm, I'm emotional, so anyway, bear with me. But anyway, these doctors at Duke University found a really weird way of curing cancer. They had a young girl there, probably 20, 22 years old, that was going, studying to become a nurse. And she developed a brain tumor. And I don't know how they did it, but they took polio and they put it in the tumor. You know, they shot, gave her a shot in the, in the tumor. Tumors, and within two weeks it was gone. Today she's a nurse, and I've been talking to Bob because we have a breast cancer thing, and I have emailed and I have done everything I can to get into Duke University, and I have going there in person is going to be the only way. I think I don't know. But I have tried and tried and tried, and um, to, to no avail. But I think that if we, you know, not only has the group sent them enough emails, that maybe they would listen. I don't know. I don't know if they just think that we're a bunch of kooks or whatever that wants, you know, they, they don't want to waste their time, basically, is what I think is going on. <clears throat> but anyway, it's worth a try. Okay, that takes care of that. I want to apologize for not having the words during the, during the invocation. 
I wanted to say bless, bless the food and, and you know, everything. But anyway, I am proposing, and I'm willing to volunteer, if Bob's willing to go for it, that we start doing different things, like, you know, we have a new member, how about we get him a book so he knows how to go about being a Santa. And there's a, a book that's, a, that's in a raffle that would be a neat thing for Santas to have. Rick, Rick was looking at it too. So, you know, there's a lot of little things I think that we can do to better ourselves as well as all come together like we're doing. I think this is fantastic. This is most people I've seen it, I don't know how long. And it's great. I really appreciate it. Thank you for coming. Here, here. Have a good day. A safe trip home. To understand Ted's emotion, Ted lost his first wife to breast cancer agents very suddenly and tragically. Um, uh, uh, Jim? Since Samson has just spoken at Duke University, uh, I have a Santa request from a Santa back east in Chesapeake, Virginia that he is a papa to a six-year-old with leukemia. And over the past three months, I have been through the San Diego chapter, we've talked about it, and I have been writing letters asking for patches from law enforcement, uh, fire rescue, paramedics, and now even uh, the request has uh, been for the military type insignias or patches. And the child is in his 117th day about uh, two, three days ago for remission. His uh, follow-up treatments have shown that his leukemia has uh, subsided. He did have a setback just last week. He has been re-released from the hospital. So the, the Ronald McDonald House and the people back in Duke do marvelous things. Uh, I have a cause for cancer also. My brother died of cancer many years ago, and my next door neighbor had stomach cancer, and he had not talked to anybody about his situation. And I was driving home from work one night when my wife told me to pull off to the side of the road. Within two weeks, he was in for stomach surgery removal. And like say, his cancer has gone. Uh, he's back healthy, he's working 40 hours. So these causes with leukemia, cancer, any kind of a serious illness, uh, if we keep the people busy, uh, whether it's taking them to treatment or whatever, uh, it's truly a well worth time event for anybody and everyone involved. So if anybody has any touch with law enforcement, fire rescue, uh, in San Diego they put my name and uh, email and phone number into the minutes so that anybody can call me uh, day or night makes no difference. Uh, I would truly appreciate anything that you yes. folks could do from the north you're, of San Diego. You're, you're searching for patches, right? Patches or insignias, anything that would add to his... Anything happens to you, that your children are not going to be going crazy trying to figure out anything. So I wanted you to know about this and also... Um, if you would like to have him come out and speak, he spoke for half an hour at our July meeting at Jack and Maxine's. People were very, very receptive to what he had to say. And that's pretty much it. I wanted to try to give back to you because we all give so much. And I just wanted to make sure that people were protected because it's very important. If you pass away and you don't have a will and you don't have a living trust and your house goes into probate, it takes over a year. It took, it's taken my, my daughter-in-law 22 months because her dad died unexpectedly and without a will. And it's a nightmare. And everything that you need is available through this attorney and also through the information in these books. So I wanted you to know that. And that's just, all there is. There's nothing in this for me. I'm just giving this to you as information. Thank you, Kathy. Woo! I was there, and boy, the guy really gave a good talk. He really explained it, and it was 
Absolutely. It's a necessity. Believe me, it is. And when you start getting explained as to what happens when a person dies, man, you want to have a book and you want to have everything in writing. All you got to do is get up that page, and that's what happens. And that's it. Ted is saying it's a really good book. Thank you. Makes you look forward to getting old. We're passing away. <laughs> All right. Um, in case anybody who didn't know, Gretchen and I had the opportunity to go to uh, Discover Santa in Branson, Missouri earlier this month. And we have the group shot over here uh, on the windowsill that you're welcome to come over and look. Gretchen's on the left front. Um, want, want everybody to understand we paid our way, Forbes didn't pay our way, and, um, and we had quite a time. We didn't know if I'd ever get Gretchen into another plane again. <laughs> so we, we flew first class for the first time in our lives. And, oh, and, yeah. and uh, no, I'm never going to get her into another plane unless we fly first class again. <laughs> but anyway, uh, there were a lot of Sanders, a lot of camaraderie. Um, a, a really good time was had by everyone there. Um, I, I did not know how big the Lone Star Santas are, but I, I think that somebody said 250, somebody else said there's 400 of them. I, I, I really don't know. They don't have chapters. They have meat and eats. They, 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 they go to a restaurant and have meat and eats, but of course somebody that lives up in the Panhandle, can't make the meetings in Houston, so they've got to divide up there somehow. But there were a hundred Lone Star Santas there, and, and the Hoosiers were probably the next represented. And we had a booth where I passed out pens and information on our, our organization and our upcoming reunion cruise. Uh, I haven't seen our <coughs> PayPal account ringing off the board, but we hope that we do get some, some people. Uh, and, th and that's on the heels of Forbes as a group voted to change our bylaws this year that we will accept membership now from anywhere in the United States. And no longer are we just a Arizona, California, Nevada organization. I, I'm just thrilled with the participation today. Good yeah, to see some you. faces we haven't seen for a while. You're here. And, and we love you all. Yes? I wanted to ask you, since you went, uh, what was the one single thing, or maybe a couple, that you were surprised that other Sanders were doing in other parts of the country that we could maybe incorporate here? What was something that you stood out for you? Was there anything in particular? No, I think we got the best organization out there. <laughs> I, I won't be so arrogant as to say I couldn't learn from other people, but um, honestly, um, nothing, nothing rang the bell for me. Sleigh riding, but they have water and snow. They what? <laughs> I said sleigh riding, but they have snow. Oh, and oh yeah, and snow. yeah, they do have, <laughs> they do have snow. Uh, um, Jim. How many Santas were there? I'm not sure how many Santas and how many misses, but, uh, Tim finally gave an official count. He always says around 1,000, but he finally said that there were 750 registered people there. So probably you could figure four, 400, 400 Santas. It, we would survive either way. Okay, but anyway, welcome, and uh, we hope that you will continue to come and uh, participate whenever you can. Uh, Sue? Letting people know that I am uh, making some Hawaiian shirts and other Pirates um, stuff. I just realized that. 
So um, right now the uh, pirate shirts are 60, the Hawaiian shirts are 50. So I can take orders and uh, let people know, you know, it takes about two to three weeks for me to get them done. Um, the shirts so are how much? They're 50. Fifty dollars for the shirt. Right, and I have uh, quite a few samples of the materials here, and I'm going to get more today. <laughs> okay, Sue's making Hawaiian Santa shirts. Looks adorable. Yes. And, and what else did you say you were making? Pirate style shirts. Oh, with the blousy sleeve. Puffy sleeve, sleeve, puffy sleeve, sleeve yeah. pirate style. Okay. And what did you want? I just wanted to comment. I hope everybody has noticed how nicely she has matched those pockets. <laughs> yeah, actually, there are two pockets on here because you can't see them because I matched the material exactly. Very good. So, <laughs> thank you. Okay. Sue, you have some business cards if anybody stops by? Yeah. Yes, she does. Chatty. Okay, I just want one more thing and then I'm going to sit down and be quiet. Somebody said they wanted to see it. <laughs> Um, our reunion, 2018. It's a year and a half away. That's all I want to say. It takes about that long to get it going. Are you volunteering? I think I heard a volunteer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just putting up, putting bugs in your in your ears. We need to form a, a plan. That's all. Okay. Okay. Our plan is to depend on it, you. It, it, any, anybody else have any business? Uh, Robert Tatangelo. Yay! He was, Robert was honored at the, uh, Jet Hawks. at the luncheon. Oh, right, right. In Branson. In Branson, yeah. As, the, well, they gave me the Santa of the Year Award for all my charitable work. Oh, yeah. It's quite an honor. I just wanted to say, uh, remind everybody, if you're up in Simi Valley, I can get up to four people into the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library for free. So come on up. Let me know you're up there. We'll get you in. It's a very nice facility. Uh, I had Kathy and Peter up there a couple months ago. And I'd also just want to say thank you to Rick Irwin for borrowing uh, his wife, Diva, and a thank you to Diva for coming up to the Lancaster Jet Hawk game. Uh, we had a blast. It was a great time. Uh, the Grace Resource Center was hosting a bunch of uh, disadvantaged youths, and uh, we gave away, I think it was 900 to 1,000 toys. Do you want to talk about the um, Angels game? Thank you. The fun yeah, you guys nice. had? Well, just not. About what? The fun you guys had at the Angels game? Uh, you can have Okay. Oh. <laughs> I will even drop her off. <laughs> Any, anybody else have anything for us? Well, we love you all. Here, have here. a safe trip. Thanks for coming. God bless. All right, um, Diva's gonna Diva's gonna tell us the total on the 50/50, and then we're going to close the meeting, and she will have the drawing. The total on the 50/50 will be 100. I hate to be a spoiler here, but... Why, because 50 plus 50 yeah. equals... Total of 50 and 50. Yeah, it's unfortunate that I know his sense of humor. <clears throat> we collected, and thank you very much to our team, $164 today. $82 goes to Mr. Treasurer. We're going to split the other $82, so there will be a literal 50-50 at $41.41. .41. I didn't decide that on my own, but I'm not telling you who did it because it's Victoria's Secret. Okay, so, and then we have other prizes up here too. So, are we ready to go off the clock? Meeting, meeting is adjourned, and now I turn it all over to Diva. Thank you, babe. I did that many years ago.